Prescott. He's got a lot of time. Deep down the right side. Oh, it's caught at the 45. Uh, they, should turn, they should turn on the tape and uh, check him out. 68 to Tony Pollard on third and 15. Good night, nurse. A night where we didn't play well in uh, any phase of our football team. Didn't coach well enough. Didn't play well enough. Not good enough tonight. Got to play better. Now we lost as a team and we got to bounce back. What I see out here right now is the team that you can go get a Super Bowl with. Keyshawn J. Willemax, ESPN Radio. I mean, that was a whooping. I thought the Cowboys would win. I like the Styles matchup. Thought the Vikings would drop back too much and that would unleash Micah Parsons. But everything got unleashed. Yo, Key, he he pulled a Phil Sims, 22 of 25, Dak. Hey, man. Hey. That's the Phil Sims right there. Super Bowl. (laughs) If you go if you go that 22 or 25 for 250 plus yards, a little bit, you know, a couple touchdowns and no turnovers, and you run the football, you know, for 150 some yards as a unit, and you averaging about four yards a pop, you're gonna win, Max, with a defense like that. You you are going to win. 88% on the passes, third best in team history. Tony Pollard had two touchdown catches with a career high, 189 yards from scrimmage. Key just quoted the uh, the ground yards for the team, but 189 yards from scrimmage for Tony Pollard. And the Cowboys sacked Kirk Cousins a career high seven times for him, the most he's ever been sacked. I, I thought Parsons, I kept saying two and a half all week, he hit two, but he's yeah. opened the game with one. I mean, you can't drop back against Mike Michael Parsons. Have- you might have had Kirk Cousins on your list too high at 16. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I had him at 15 oh, this God. week. He might be at 16 this week. What, what happened to all the people last week that were talking about the Cowboys missing the playoffs? Like, is, it, oh, wait, is the whole conversation going to shift now all of a sudden to the Cowboys being of one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl? Like, this is why I, the, the roller the coaster ride is ridiculous, and people just can't hold firm to the fact that if Dak Prescott can play to a high level with this defense, they are a Super Bowl team, regardless of whether they drop a game or not. It's just so great how the Cowboys fans go up, and that's such a roller coaster. It's one not, second, it's the media about the Cowboys. No, but the fans, too, are, like, depressed. Oh, my God, we're in trouble versus, like, oh, my God, we're the best team of all time. I week asked that week. question out loud. I said, could the Cowboys? Cowboys miss the playoffs based on the Giants and the Philadelphia mm-hmm. Eagles. But do you really realistically thought that they would be? No, yeah, it no could happen. Well, that. no, it can't because See, the Packers no. fall down. Wa- Max wanted it to happen. Of course. <laughs> it was never going to happen. <laughs> of throwing course I wanted there, it. Throwing it out there because the, the Cowboys just, you know, in shambles. It's a good conversation. But if you're really watching this team, you know, dang you know well, they weren't going to miss the playoffs. So you yeah, think they, they could win the Super Bowl, Key? I think they yeah. can. See, he, he, any team, now I don't know if they'll get home field advantage throughout the playoffs. But if they can get a home playoff game, it's possible. And then they go well. Then no, I mean I got to win the division. To yeah, get but a that home could happen. Game. The Eagles have a loss and most have two. It could happen. It could. It could. Stranger things they, have they happened. Have, it, it, it could, but they got they three the losses. Yeah. Them and the Eagles had the best chances out of NFC with the 49ers, I think, to win the Super Bowl. This is what Jerry Jones thinks about that. A resounding yes, yes, unequivocally yes. Uh, I think we've had. Uh, Adversity, we very easily could have some more adversity. Uh, but if we can get in there healthy and still um, have games like the last two we just had on the road, uh, and uh, we've got a, a, a deal coming up here this weekend, Thanksgiving Day. These Giants are playing really good football. They're a good football team. And so, yes, I think if we use the experience of what we're having in the, in the season, then we're going to be playoff ready. Uh-huh. But I sure do think that uh, what I see out here right now is, a, is the team like that you could go get a Super Bowl with. Yeah, meantime, the Giants are all banged up. The, the Cowboys looking good for that game. Key, I thought he made a great point because this is something you said about Green Bay. If they, if they could grab a wild card, it's that instead of having that buy and everything, and they do not, they're not battle-tested, Jerry said – We've faced adversity. They have, Key. They've overcome it. Maybe they're more prepared for a, a Super Bowl run than they've been in years. See, I start looking at things like where do they go, right? If they don't win the division and don't have a home playoff game, okay, so who do they pair up with? Who do they match up with? They got to go to Tampa Bay because Tampa wins the division. Or they got to go to San Francisco because San Francisco wins the division. Or, or they got to somehow wind up going back into Philadelphia. I just start looking at the type of places and the environments that they may have to go to. Are they battle-tested going into those environments? Can they handle that sort of experience that they've never had before um 
And so that's kind of why I say they could if they get a home field playoff game. I question whether or not they can go on the road and win three, four games, including the Super Bowl. I, I just don't know that that's the case. See, and what I love is them continuing to make adjustments, especially in the defensive end. So we heard Micah Parsons talk about the defense wasn't acceptable enough in their last game against the Packers. They made those adjustments. They only allowed the Vikings to rush for 72 yards. I mean, damn, Kirk Cousins dropped back on the first play of the game and got sacked. So my thing is when your defense is playing at that level and your offense starts to click as well, yes, they are one of the most suitable teams in the NFC to win the conference and to win the Super Bowl. And I wouldn't think they'd go on the road either and win, except that Jerry just put a little thought in my head, man. It's it's true. When you are battle-tested during the season, you are more uh, prepared to face adversity. If you have to go on the road, etc. this Cowboys team might be exceptionally well prepared for any kind of eventuality by the time – they hit the playoffs. Cowboys just crushed the Vikings. Eagles battle tested. Yeah, not like the Cowboys. Not like though. the Cowboys. No. 49ers. Yeah, but, the big, but the thing with the Eagles, though, yes, 49ers. is they're going to get a home playoff game. Uh, understood. I'm just asking who's battle tested. Ed Word or five different Cowboys have recorded sacks on Kirk Cousins' career high six at the time. Micah Parsons has two. By the way, the final score, in case you're wondering, forty to three. <laughs> okay, that's total domination on both sides of the ball. You go and whip up on a team with one loss, forty to three. Yeah, I, I uh, Michael Parsons' lower body. I had to lab him yesterday. I didn't realize his lower body looked like that. Come on, man. He He's, got tree trunks down there. That dude is uh, to move like that too. That dude I, is I, LT man, two point uh, I, lo I looked 1. at him. I'm like, I thought he was just a tall, long dude. I looked at his legs. I was like, oh, my goodness. Is it time for the Jets to bench Zach Wilson? After this word from Omega Accounting Small Business Owners, lend us your ears. You may have overpaid on your payroll taxes during COVID. If you continue to pay employee wages during the pandemic, Omega Accounting Solutions may be able to help you recover a full refund of up to $26,000 per employee. Schedule a free 10-minute call with Omega to find out whether or not you qualify. It's that simple. 800-704-2000. That's what you call. 800-704-2000 with any ERC questions you may have. 800-704-2000. Or you can visit OmegaTaxCredits.com, but do it before the filing window closes or funds run out. Hey, it's Greeny coming off a of Sunday where the Eagles found a way, the Giants got blown out, and the New York Jets may very well have to look for a new quarterback. We'll talk about all that and more Monday. It's Greeny starting 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio.